1909. Milliken's oil drop experiment. In Milliken's oil drop experiment, what Milliken did is he proved that charge is quantized. Charge is quantized. Charge comes in discrete packets, or discrete quanta, as they are called. What is the quanta by which charge is quantized? George. A photon. Ah, photon. That would actually be light. Light being quantized. This is not a light. But photons, concept of light. All right. Let's let's go back. Let's talk about what it means to be quantized. Make sure we understand that basic statement. So, we start with a picture. Today's desktop picture is a picture of Ryan at the Natural History Museum in Ann Arbor. She is observing a prehistoric skeleton. I enjoy this picture because of um, it seems to elicit something which is not true. Uh, she is seven years old, and she's essentially running around the museum looking at various things. But I caught her for this brief moment where she was paused, looking at the skeleton. Look, she looks like she's being very introspective and thinking about the history of this particular item. But no, she's seven. She's running around. Uh, my other daughter, Geneve, she's nine. She's the one who reads everything at this point and tries to absorb everything. But it has to do with age. But I like that just from the fact that it, it illustrates something which is not true. But this picture is quantized. How is this picture quanta? What are the discrete quanta that this picture comes in? Uh, your just Pixels. Pixels. Right here, there is a square. That square is a certain color. Right next to it, there's another square that's a certain color. Right next to that, another square that's a certain color. It is quantized in that it comes in discrete packets, discrete pixels. Those of you in the back probably cannot see those pixels. Right? Because you're, you are so far away from that screen that the pixels, you cannot see them. Your iPhone, the basic concept with the iPhone 4 and the iPhone 4S is they have something called a retina display. The idea is at a normal distance, you cannot see the pixels on the iPhone because it is, the pixels are so small. So your brain cannot recognize that it is quantized. If you get close enough to this, you can see that it is quantized. It's not only quantized in pixels, it's also quantized in that it's refreshing 30 times a second. In other words, it's pushing, putting that picture up there 30 times a second in discrete quanta. So it is, this picture is quantized. So we come back to Millikan's oil drop experiment. Charge is quantized. The charge on this balloon is quantized. What is the discrete packet? It was pixels for the picture. What are the discrete packets for the charge that's on the balloon? Atom. I'm sorry, we have two atoms. Gothard and Crittenden. Gothard. Electrons? Electrons. Notice the charge on this balloon has to be an integer value of the charge on an electron. In other words, Q is equal to N times E. This is the equation that shows the quantized nature of charge. This is a boxed equation. Maria, boxed equation means? On the quiz or on a final exam, anything that I box is an equation that you're going to get. So Q equals NE, where Q is the charge, the net charge on the object. N is an integer. And E is called the fundamental charge. E, the fundamental charge, is plus or minus 1.60 times 10 to the negative 19 coulombs. And that, as well, is boxed. You'll get that on a quiz or final exam. So where does this charge, this fundamental charge, come from? Positive or negative 1.60 times 10 to the negative coulombs. Now, coulombs I do need to define. C stands for coulombs, C-O-U-L-O-M-B-S. And it is a new dimension, a new um, SI unit, the coulomb. It is not a base SI unit, however. Amps or coulombs per second are actually base SI units, but we're not there yet. That has to do with current. 
we are not there yet. But we have a new dimension, it is Coulombs. And the question is this, where does this number come from? 1.60 times 10 to the negative 19 Coulombs, the fundamental charge. Any charge on any object is going to be an integer multiple of this number. Have you seen this? Have you seen this before? Right, the, the hand it goes up. Watch. We practice. We'll do it. Sam? Is it um, have to do with the mass of an electron? It does not have to do with the mass of an electron, but rather, Sean? The power. Their power. No, not their power either. Not the mass of the electron, not the power of the electron. But we're getting closer. Sam? Ah, no, we're farther away. This is, this is fun. Sean? Their overall energy. Again, it has nothing to do with energy. You guys are trying way too hard. It's, it's a very simple question. Once you see it, you'll see how silly it is. Yeah. Charge. It's just the charge on what? The electron. The electron or the charge on? Ian? Yeah. Not the atom itself, George. A proton. Because it's positive or negative, right? So <laughs> this fundamental charge, 1.60 times 10 to the negative 19 coulombs, is the charge on an electron if it's negative on a proton if it's positive. They both have the same magnitude of charge, but they have different values. One's positive, one is negative. So, M Millikan, in 1909, more than 90 years ago, proved that the charge on any object has to be an integer multiple of 1.60 times 10 to the negative 19 coulombs. In other words, you could have something that has a charge of 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19 coulombs, or 3.2 times 10 to the negative 19 coulombs, or 4.8 times 10 to the negative 19 coulombs, right? But you can't have something that has a charge, for example, of 1.0 times 10 to the negative 19 coulombs. Why can you not have a charge of 1.6, I'm sorry, 1.0 times 10 to the negative 19 coulombs on something? Show me. That would mean you'd have part of an electron because you'd have part of an electron or part of a proton, and we cannot do that. So that is what it means for charge to be quantized, because you're adding or subtracting one electron or one proton, and therefore the charge is going to be a multiple of 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19 coulombs. It's a very small number. Think about how much that took 1909 to be able to prove that you couldn't get any smaller than 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19 coulombs. So we'll talk about more about that number in a little bit. We get to it an example. We need some other numbers, which is the mass of an electron is 9.11 times 10 to the negative 31 kilograms, which is boxed. Sorry, that's 31. And the mass of a proton is 1.67 times 10 to the negative 27 kilograms. The mass on the proton, the mass on an electron. Those, both, both of those masses are going to come up often enough that they are simply boxed and you will get them on all quizzes and finally. 